What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Hey, we got some mail. We got mail. So much stuff. It's time to open all the boxes. I just hope it's not electrifying. Oh. Mail in, 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 mail That's right, nerdlings. It's another edition of Mail in Mail because we've been wheeling and dealing and getting some stuff from the community. Uh, very, very freaking awesome, of course. First of all, something that we finally get to add into the collection. We got an official Game Beaters sticker. So about that's, time. yeah, it is about time actually. <laughs> um, gee, what do you think we're gonna do with this sticker? I'll make a magnet out of it. <laughs> that's right. They also put a note in there. Tom, <laughs> thanks for the support. Keep on rocking, Dick Boots and Dan B. And I love it. They threw in an extra little card. I love all the little, uh, the Mario cards, the Nintendo yes. cards from back in the day, and these scratcher ones. I mean, that's perfect. Good job, Nintendo. Get kids into gambling young. You know, get them hooked on the whole scratcher tickets. How else are you going to be able to afford the games? Oof. <laughs> oh, it's coming out swinging. <laughs> snap, snap. But thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. And we finally got to meet them at Mo Game we Con. Did. That was fact. awesome. Next up is something that I've been excited to get. I worked out a great deal with John at Biddy Kong's Quest, who he uh, he found a couple of these some time ago, and I told him, uh, "Hey, I'm I'm interested." And again, he he was willing to work out a great deal because. So we got not one, but two Jaguar systems hanging out here. So, um, and not only the systems, we got the controllers as well. So I have not one. Not two, but three Jaguar controllers. I've never had one of these, so there's zero nostalgia, but I still had to have it because of the game room. I will collect you and capture you. Now, I already did open the box because in all honesty, when it showed up, I didn't recognize his name. I mean, it's YouTube. We kind of yeah. use code names. We use our code names. Relax, Beth. It's cool to have a code name. It's not that weird. We got a brand new to us console, the Atari Jaguar. A Jaguar. <laughs> are we are we British now? A Jaguar. Uh -huh. A Jaguar. It's time for something more surprising, more British. The Jaguar. Sixty-four bits. Yeah. Uh, well, let's get those air quotations out. Sixty-four bits, because while it did have two processors that were thirty-two bits each. Let's review the numbers. Sega Genesis is sixteen bits. 3DO is thirty-two bits. The Atari Jaguar is sixty-four bits. Which is more advanced? Clifford. Huh? That's kind of the uh, the loophole that they used to market it, because of course back in the day with the bit wars being a big deal and everything. They wanted to show that you should be playing the, the, the bigger thing. You know, bigger numbers mean better, right? Not exactly the case. Because, of course, this was during the transitional period of consoles going from 2D to 3D, not always with the best results. And that's where this system comes in. So this isn't, like a terrible system. It was just marketed in a way that it was supposed to be so much more. If they would have just accepted the fact that it was, a, you know, a 2D into 3D system, because it had some 2D offerings that were actually pretty good. I mean, Rayman was a great game and everything. Uh, but then they had some good 3D offerings as well, because the man behind Doom himself worked on the port for this system. And to be fair, if you couldn't play it on the computer, this was kind of one of the best versions of Doom that you could get, as long as you didn't mind missing the music. All of the hookups are here, and even a controller. That's huge. Yeah, look at this. Was that 17 button controller? So a huge size controller. But when we were looking at this, it's actually pretty comfortable. Oddly yeah. enough. Yeah, there's something about like I guess these just like big grips right here on the end, and perfect place for your fingers to go. Everything just 
fits and really comfortable. Some good clickiness to the buttons. Clicks. And then I, I guess this is for calling home <laughs> or doing your taxes. Jaguar phone home. Hello? He was even nice enough to send us a game. Which game? Well, if you just got a Jaguar, you got to start with the launch game, Cybermorph. There's an alien on there. Where did you learn to fly? 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 We haven't even put it in the console yet. Now if you guys got an extra spleen to spare, this is a really good game to get for the Jack. I will say, I do like Jaguar games because there's like this weird like circle cylinder thing on top, so it's your handle, but you know, it actually makes a lot of sense to put a handle on a <laughs> game that you put in and take out. My only thing that I see about this game system is no cover here. Get That's dusty. right. There's nothing to block all that dust getting in there. So of course your options are to leave a game in there at all times. Uh, get one of those fine dust covers. If it's not a system that you're going to be playing all that often, they'll keep it safe and looking good yeah. anyway. Or there have been people who have 3D printed some nice oh, dust covers nice. to put in there. Now what goes back here? Well, that would be because the console part of the Jaguar wasn't exactly doing well in sales. I think their first year they only saw like 100,000 sales, which that's not really good for uh, for a console. Uh, not not in its first year, at least. With the um, the Sega Saturn and the PS1 looming on the horizon in 95, Jaguar put out a CD attachment. Oh. The problem is, first of all, that thing is super buggy. Uh, a lot of times it didn't even come out of the warehouse working right, and then they're like fastly failing everywhere nice. you hear about <laughs> them. Yeah, you're probably more likely to run into an actual Jaguar in real life than you are a Jaguar CD attachment, especially one that works. The worst part, when you put that thing on there, because it's circular, and then you put this, in a cartridge slot that sits on top of it. This thing then looks like a toilet. <laughs> so I don't know who did the designing of that. Maybe they knew it was crap. <laughs> <laughs> One last thing about the look of this system though, the shells were actually repurposed later on as dental x-rays. So you know. At least they had a better life somewhere else. <laughs> Thank you so much, John, for hooking us up with Thank the deal. Thank you so much. That is awesome because you actually have been looking to get one of these for a long time. Yes. Uh, you know, again, no nostalgia, no history with the Jaguar itself, but this was the only Atari console that I was looking for to kind of complete that Atari console collection. Like, we still need to get a Lynx, maybe a Lynx 2. Uh, you know, and then be done with Atari at all, but I'm not going to go heavy into the home computing systems, even though many of them had cartridge slots and did come with games, you know, I mean, the, the 800, 1200, the XE, I mean, the, yeah. they're great, but as far as just gaming consoles, this seals the deal. So, Atari collecting, almost done. This one's big and this one's heavy. This one's also from... D&G, drink and games with Josh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that scrubs or yeah. uh, surgical gown? So Lady Lacey works in the medical field. We met yes. via uh, working in surgery together. I used so. to be a surgical technologist, so I... Uh, Wore those every single day while I assisted surgeons on operations. We recognize those hilarious. in a heartbeat. Oh, here you go, just for you. Yay. Oh, that's a good one. So we do have a letter. Do you nerd? I'm hoping that this package makes it to you and does not end up in the trash or in some random post office worker's refrigerator along the way. Oh no. Sorry about the unconventional packaging material. Didn't have enough bubble wrap and I was told all those things show up on x-ray so thought that maybe they would help camouflage the beer. Oh, 
He's into some brews. Ha <laughs> ha, a six pack of brews for my local brewery. Hope you enjoy them. I also threw in a few minor things for Lady Lacey to have some fun with as well. Take care, drinking games with Josh because these must be delicious beers and he knows that sometimes I'm not the best at sharing. <laughs> So these are perhaps the items for you. Oh, cool. We have a neat bracelet with the um, Sheikah Slate on it, which is one of my favorite things that came out of that game. I just love the design of the Sheikah Slate. Oh, now we got a cute little seal. How adorable is that? Is that a Pokemon? Yeah, I, I know. I, you're asking the wrong person. I, I, I don't know Pokemon. It kind of looks like a Pokemon, but I'm not sure, but it's still adorable. You know, if Sega Head's watching this, he's like screaming at the screen. Well, you know what? Is. Wild Sega Head appeared. Pika P. The Waking Dreams End. This is a, this is a really neat looking graphic novel. Look, this, the bodies are making a skull. Let the bodies be a skull. Let the bodies be a skull. A really neat graphic novel. Oh, that's novel some really good art. Ooh, yeah, some it is. creepy art, too. Really creepy. Halloween is coming up soon, so this will be fun to read while the, we get all spooky and stuff. Is that red jelly coming out of That's her? That's red jelly coming okay, out of her Okay, it's arm. just jelly. Baby, <laughs> what? Blood. What does he have? Blood. So that is awesome. We got a little uh, Snow White going on here. Giggity. <laughs> so I love my Grimm's Fairy Tales. It's amazing, fun way of telling... So oh, she's naked. <laughs> <laughs> she gets distracted so easily. I really do. It's There's some naked ladies in front of her. Well? And you all think it's me. <laughs> no, it's a really fun take on the fairy tales. And the, the artwork is just amazing. It's just gorgeous. And they all kind of sort of wear their typical fairy princess outfits, but in a different kind of <laughs> sexy, obviously naked way in some essences. So. You know, you talked about the art being good, which it is. Mm -hmm. I also really love the color in these because yes. they're always very, very vibrant. Uh, even when you have like darker scenes, there's a lot of color, like a lot of ambient color and lighting and everything. Maybe we should go to Chicago. Show them why. <laughs> Censor. <laughs> oh my. See, now here oh you go. My gosh. Here is a perfect that is great. example. They're at the Disney Kingdom. That is great. I don't think Jasmine's too happy, though. And then we have another one. Ooh, look at the devil on the front of that one. Grr. I cannot wait to read these. I absolutely love these. And I keep looking to see if there is some kind of app like my Marvel app or the DC app that Zenescape is involved in, to where you just pay a one-time fee and you get to read as many as you want. Because I have found them digitally and I don't want to just buy them in each one digitally. Right. I want another app that Zenescape is a part of so that I can just keep reading them. To have like all yeah, of them. Yeah, so place. if any of you guys know, please let me know. All right, so we got some little goodies here. Some, uh, ooh, some uh, Mighty Fight Federation cards to go Fun. with our cards. And check out oh, the cute. stickers. Oh, just so cute. <laughs> the Gay Boy and Cartridge is adorable. Is Taney Town, Maryland Brewery Fire. So we have that. And check out the Drink and Games with Josh stickers. That's cool. You loved these the first time we saw his image. Yeah. He didn't have I, stickers yet. I absolutely loved how you got just drunk Mario and Luigi and then. Clearly Donkey Kong got into a fight because he's missing a tooth. And the Everything Retro sticker. Awesome. Very cool pieces there. And then we got some fun coloring Ooh. books. We got Batman and then we've got Supergirl. These are great ways to just kind of unwind. Uh, you know, yeah, like obviously you got the table here. You get your colored pencils out, turn on some tunes or something, get you something to drink, and then just sit back and just chill. They're basically graphic novels. There's no writing in them. So there's, you know, you don't, have like a story to read but the pictures tell the story and so it's not just like a picture here and a picture there it's like you're coloring the whole graphic novel so that's really nice although the batman one is a little difficult because um the dark knight so everything's black <laughs> hey that man had a suit for everything you he even did, have yeah. a leprechaun batman so plush why are you wearing all of these outfits batman why are you running around in a rainbow costume 
and he told them that he would never tell. It was his secret. He'll be back to normal tomorrow. I love these. All right, so Thank look. Thank you. So it looks like there's a cooler here. All of these are wrapped in bubble wrap. Sprite! Wow, you loaded us up with yes. some drinks. These are awesome. Oh. So obviously one of my favorite sodas is Sprite. So this is really what caught my eye to begin with. I was like, look, it's Sprite, but it's literally a little, a little Sprite. That's too cute. That looks like a Sprite, actually the cartoon fairy from the Legend of Zelda cartoon, like yeah. the color scheme and everything. Hey, excuse me, princess. This next one is actually a whole heck of a lot of fun. Suckerfish Sour. Hawaiian Sour. Okay, just on the my I'm not a fan of suckerfish, and I've eaten suckerfish. It's not the best. <laughs> fun little fact, I grew up in this teeny tiny little town called Nixa, and they are- Hey, home of Jason home Bourne. Home of Jason Bourne. <laughs> <laughs> that Nixa, by the way, from the movie. Anyway, there's a festival that they have every year called Sucker Day. And it was a bunch of fishermen that just got around and they would catch sucker fish and they would go and have a fish fry. And so then people just started coming and hanging out, eating the fish. And then they, it just kind of like, well, I'll bring some of this. I'll bring some of that. And then it blew up into a big festival. To tie it into where we used to work, uh, the hospital we worked at was called Cox, C-O-X. <laughs> and they once sponsored sucker days. One time. That was it. Because it was even in the paper. It was in the paper and it was Cox Sucker Day. You can't say that. No, 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 no. These two are so great. A drink to the past with little links on the front. Oh, oh little man. Little links. That's now, a cool little link. I had actually commented on one of his videos uh, when he was trying one of these, and I said, you know, I will, uh, I'd love to just have the can if you want to just send the can. Did you read that? Oh, she's already sold on what it's cereal and marshmallow? That is great. That and by the way, amazing. look at this little touches. 16 fluid ounces of green rupees. <laughs> that is so cute. Recognize that jewel? Yes, I was actually going to say, did we get a Princess Peach drink? Well, I don't know because apparently it's in another castle. 16 fluid ounces of being kidnapped again by a giant angry turtle dragon. You know, dragon. once you're kidnapped, twice, okay, you got bad luck. More than that, you're just a bad princess. Breathe deeply and close your eyes. Don't let your kids watch it. And you know what? This is even made with peaches, Ooh. which you love peaches. I love peaches. So there you go. Now I will try it. I'm, no, I'm not a yeah. big peach fan. But there have been some peach things that you have liked. That's true. That's true. I'm more not into like the fruit peaches. Yes. So like the flavoring like and the stuff. Fact that it's hairy. It's it's like the worst fruit ever. Look at me. I'm a fruit. I'm covered in hair. Put me in your mouth. Now what do you get? Oh, it's mushy and stringy. Oh, and one last thing. There's a giant tooth cracking nut right in the middle. Take a big bite. Peaches. That sounds like a girl and a guy. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's hairy. You want us to put it in Okay. Our <laughs> um. <laughs> what? So the last one, <laughs> participation trophy, <laughs> 16 fluid ounces of winning. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the beer of the 2020s. See, now this is one that I will try, but I don't know about it because I don't like cherry. So, hey, this may work out. But I do like raspberry. Cherry, blackberry, and raspberry, so this could be very good. I have a message for you from the future! All right, what's your first choice? My first choice is not another castle. Yeah, I can smell peaches, but like not fresh peaches, like the peaches that you get in a, in a, like a can or in those fruit cups. I don't think I taste peach. It's not bad because I'm not typically a fan of IPAs because they're usually hoppy, but it's not bad. I don't think I taste a whole lot of peach in there. I don't know that I get a peach smell, but it is a very fruity smell. Like it, it smells like a sour. 
It kind of has that initial bite of an IPA, you know, kind of that beer bite, but then it trails off really smooth. Yeah, I don't think I'm really getting peach, but this, like this is an IPA that, yeah, it's, it's refreshing, which I don't generally think of with IPAs. I think of them as when you want a beer, you know, so you want to pair it with something. Not bad though. Well, this is the one that I was super curious about because it is a drink to the past. This was the one that's a sour, but then it says with cereal and marshmallows. It is a lot darker than I anticipate a sour to be. I swear I, sm I actually do smell marshmallows. So it definitely has that sour like body to it, but the flavor, it's like cereal crumbs. Like if you have the end of the bag and it's like all the crumbs. I just smell sour. You just smell the sour to it? Oh, that's a good sour. Oh, that's a really it's, good sour. Yeah, it's got a nice oh, tart. Oh man, yeah. something wrong with my taster today. <laughs> I don't taste peach. <laughs> I just taste sour. Just the sour of it? Mm -hmm. But it's good. It's a good sour. Wow. We got a lot of fun drinking to do. Josh freaking set us I up Look at all big this time. Stuff. Now, the thing is, I've actually been in talks with Josh about uh, trying to hook him up with some of our local brews. So I may... I may borrow your box and your cooler and see if I can send something back. Finally, um, I've got to find some good stuff for you. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. well, thank you. Thank you very much. We're going to we're gonna have some nice drinks while we, we sit are. down in color. We are. The, That's great. The beginning of the book is going to look really good see, by the time we get to the end of the book. So this, this is perfect. This is perfect. We're going to set out to beat some games, all right? Because we're, we're game beaters, so we're going to set out to beat some games. We're going to fire up the Atari Jaguar. We're going to listen to the alien head woman tell us or ask us, where did you learn to fly? Are we going to drink until it looks good? Until we start drinking. And then we're just kind of going to wind down coloring stuff. And then in the next, mor the next morning when we wake up and we have hangovers, we'll just kind of quietly read some comics. Shh, shh, be quiet. I'm reading. Shh. <laughs> You're well, turning the page too, ho too loud. Let me see my what? Am, am I too late? Am I too soon? Why? What? What's, what's happening? It, it's me. It's future Tom. Oh, I did see a little bit more gray in the beard there. I got one last thing for the mail-a-mail -mail video. Hopefully I'm not too late. We already filmed that. I know, but trust me, this is from the future. This is okay. really special because you don't know anything about this. No, I don't. This is from an amazing artist on Twitter, that future, future Tom, will make sure there's information here and in the link down below. This one has not got to see this, even in the future. I present to you the fancy portrait of Paul Mustachio. Oh my gosh, that is great. Ah, oh, he's got a monocle, I love it. That is amazing. Now, Kaylee does amazing pencil and pen art, all kinds of uh, colorful pieces, as well as these fantastic black and white pieces. Uh, I sent a few pictures of reference of Mr. Paul, and I told her that we needed him to look fancy AF, hence the lovely suit and, of course, the monocle. What do you think, buddy? That's you. It's your portrait. <laughs> I think he could care less. He just <laughs> wants some food. Ow! He bit me. And last of all, she did toss in her business card with a little message. Tom, thank you so much for commissioning me. This piece was so much fun to do. All the best, <laughs> Kaylee. Of course it's fun to do because it's Paul Mustachio looking fancy. <laughs> all right. Take good care of this. Best of luck. I will see you in the future. In the future? When's the future happen? What happened to then? Pass it. When? Just now. Wear it now, now. 
Go back to then. When? Now. Now? Now. I can't. Why? We missed it. When? Just now. When will then be now? Soon. <laughs> well, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, yes, Josh, awesome so much stuff. for this. John, for helping us to complete a collecting goal with the Jaguar. And, of course, the Game Beaters, because we love our merch and we've got a new magnet. So thank you guys so much. Links in the description to all of these amazing channels. Please go there, show them some support, and drop some comments if you know anything. If you have some Jaguar memories, Ballistic Coffee Boy, looking at you. I actually recommend one of these. The Jaguar Game Drive by Retro HQ. It'll save you a ton of money, and it's got every Jag game I've ever made, plus some prototypes. Let us know if you've tried any of these beers. Pretty sure they're all East Coast, so yeah, this is totally a first for us. Nergens time. Ooh. Or let us know if you color or like the Fair Ladies of Grimm's fairy tales. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to TeePublic and check us out on the Retro Refresh because it's an amazing site. And those are some amazing guys over there. And if we like it... We nerd it. Now, once these are cold, since this is cereal and marshmallows, that's breakfast, right? <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. We've been wheeling and dealing as we do, as you do. Let's that again. Because <laughs> I stumbled on my word. We like that. I just want to go play with my dragon. <laughs> okay, ready? That's right, nerdlings. It That's is an. That's the intro. I'm waving. Are you ready? Yep. That is great. That's really great. Oh, I didn't know there was math involved.